enemy of God. Yeah. The flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit lusts against the flesh yeah. to keep you from doing the things that we are called to do. Amen. But in this hour, you got to recognize that God will fight your battle. Oh, yeah. Amen. We were talking about in the word it says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but my God shall deliver me or you out of them all. Amen? Amen. Amen? But you know, we concentrate on the part that God's going to deliver us. Amen. And then there's another scripture that talks about the affliction that says this light affliction is only but for a moment. Amen? Amen. And we praise God because we remember that the affliction only lasts how long? Oh. One moment. Come on. But we forget that we're in affliction. Uh -huh. yeah. And when we don't realize we're in affliction, then we go to war unprepared. Amen? Oh, yeah. You know, when you sign up for the military, you got to do physical training. You got to do basic training. You get up every morning to condition your body yeah. just in case you go to war. Oh, See, some people can make it through the physical training all right. But look at somebody say, but when they get to the gas chamber, when they, get to the gas chamber. they get all choked up. And that's what's wrong with some of us saints. We've been on a warfare, but we're not equipped. Amen? Yeah, yeah. We've been trying to fight a war, but we're not equipped to fight the war that we're trying to fight. The devil knows that we're not equipped. So he's throwing darts from the left and darts from the right because he knows that the people of God are not ready. Oh, yeah. Amen? We're so busy dancing around our affliction, but how many of you know we got to get in the affliction and go ahead and deal with what's going on? You know, you got to look at the devil your best shot. Because here I am. Yeah. And the devil knows he's going to hell. So why are we following him? Yeah. But look at somebody say there's a warfare going on. There's a warfare. I wonder who's going to win the war. Will it be your spirit man or your flesh man? I pray to God that it'll be the spirit. Amen. Because if we're going to worship God, we got to worship him in spirit and in truth. And amen. This week they're telling us to work the word. Don't reject it, just work it. Amen. So let's work the word. Amen. Put on the helmet of salvation. Amen. A garment of praise, a shield of faith. Amen. So that we can fight this battle and win. Amen. My battle may not be your battle, but we're all in a battle. And look at somebody again and say, there's a spiritual warfare going on. There's a spiritual warfare going on. 